what GE has been doing is looking into some of the industry trends, what's affecting our customers, and the Network Digital Twin is really a response to a need that we're seeing in the marketplace from our customers. Utilities are facing major transformation, which I think this group probably is fairly familiar with. Um, the multi-directional power flow, as we add more and more renewables onto the system and battery storage grows and so forth, that's a really big issue for utilities. Um, along with a lot of that, we're putting a lot more automation out on the systems, and the result of that is a huge increase in data coming back in. We're talking you know, 10x, 100x amount of data, and through a few studies, we've been finding that customers are using something on the order of about 15% of that data to improve their decision making, which tells us there's more potential here. Things could be better if we had better communication and better uh, decisions can be driven off of the same data. Um, we expect that that's actually going to accelerate in future years. The um, growth in battery, electric vehicles, and other renewables piece is going to be a huge impact on us. And the grid modernization, all the programs that you guys are going into now, are going to supply additional data that has to be managed and used for decision making within the company. The, thing that will not probably change is this increased and heightened need for cybersecurity, being able to understand what the threats are, how to manage those, and also how to react. So prevention and reaction are going to both be key on the cybersecurity piece. But all of this is happening to the utility companies <clears throat> in a time of what I call unfriendly financials. So for most of the people in this marketplace, there's not additional money to do this with. It's at a time when load growth is flat or perhaps even contracting and the competition for capital investment dollars is really severe. So it's very hard to fund and justify these projects within the organizations. So as we've talked to people about what they're doing um, in this space, everyone seems to be aware of the transformation issues. There's a fairly good understanding of that. And there's a need for us to go forward and make changes you know, to transform the utilities People are increasing automation, so the edge devices, AMI, um, ADMS, putting out more mobility pieces and move to cloud. These are some of the tools that people are using to respond to the situation. Um, there's also a huge move in terms of a digital workforce. You can see that with our own mobile enterprise offerings, being able to put customer um, data and operational data out into the hands of users has been a big move, and I think a lot of our customers are participating with that. They've also started to take a look at the, the uh, changing business model. So in the past, perhaps it was a very central business model, um, single control center. Now you have, um, especially during a storm situation where you may set up regional um, control operations, and you have to have systems that can accommodate that kind of change in business process. Through all of this, the data that's behind these systems is really the key. Understanding where the network is installed out there, how it's configured currently, and how it's operating currently is very important. Um, and that's something that we're planning to address with the Network Digital Twin. Because what we found with our customers is that these existing solutions are still not enough to really solve the problem. Um, the analytics that are available today are often back-looking rather than forward-looking, and so you really can't um, prevent something, you can only react more quickly. And we want to help our customers move from a reactive stance to more of a predictive and prescriptive move within, the, um, within their business operations. Um, we also have found out that um, a lot of the results from the existing analytics are not against the network that's in use currently. So the example from this would be that um, if I find an alarm or a uh, air condition within a um, specific substation, and we can show you this on the demonstration today, um, I might make some choices based on what I'm seeing there, the number of customers that are out, but that choice might change if I knew operationally because of the heat of the day, we've actually switched load to another substation. I might be dealing with data that's out of date when I'm making operational decisions. The Network Digital Twin prevents that by providing both operational and the nominal network view at the same time. 
being able to combine those together within one platform. The view we've got with the Network Digital Twin is we can provide customers the ability, as I said, to move forward to a predictive and prescriptive delivery of the analytics, have things that are looking forward in the future. The best outage management solution is the one that causes the outage not to occur. So we're talking about doing um, applications that we could do things like take a look at when an underground cable is likely to fail and when is it time to go make the change before the outage occurs. That's fundamentally different than today's world where we wait for an outage to occur and we focus on responding more and more quickly to that. If I'm going to cut open the street, I don't really want to do it following an outage while customers are out in a storm. I'd really rather be able to schedule that for daytime hours, not pay overtime rates, and be able to coordinate better with the city in terms of traffic control and other issues and minimize the impact upon the community. Um, With Network Digital Twin, we have the intelligence to provide options to the operator so that we can go through and say, here's three different things that could be done to uh, reduce the impact of the outage that you're facing, and here's the things that um, we would go and study in terms of how to, how to step through and prevent that outage. That could be things like looking at a power flow and understanding where you can backfeed a specific circuit or a specific set of customers or being able to um, look at the assets that are involved, a recent inspection set of data, maybe let you know that you don't actually have to take action quite as quickly on a certain set of assets. With the NDT, some of the characteristics that we have with it, it's, we combine, I mentioned the real time and the nominal view of the network, and we're pulling those things from your systems, like an ADMS, uh, we pull the network from the GIS, and those systems don't have to be matching across the enterprise, and they don't have to be all GE systems. So we, from the start, set this up to be agnostic. If you maybe work in a company where there's been an acquisition and you have two different um, OMS systems, maybe in your east and west operating divisions, we combine the data together from those and be able to spit, that, uh, spit out the answers consistently for those that are looking like a storm impacting both divisions, even though it came from two different outage management applications. So in terms of what we're doing with the uh, Network Digital Twin, we're providing a return and measurable improvements looking at the full life cycle of the assets and the full business process within the uh, organization. We work to reduce the outage duration and number of outages, the instances of outages as well, but we also look for um, ways that we can simulate your entire network for other uses. And some of the things we see would be useful in this area is looking at things like where to put um, battery storage. If we want to invest in battery storage along a network, what's the most optimum location? Where can we place that that we're going to get the best business benefit? As we see things like uh, microgrids and more uh, DER placed out there, we can help working with customers, understanding where to place them along the network for the best benefit, and also what the operational problems may be. So I may price a solar connection differently for a neighborhood solar project based on where it's going upon my network and what the impact will be on other users within the grid system. Um, we also think we'll be able to do things like extend battery life because we can manage the charge and discharge cycles based on operating conditions like what's the loading now, what's the projected loading across the next several hours, being able to do alarms and um, raise warnings when I might be going beyond my voltage capacity and dipping into the battery storage capacity there as well. All of this we think will give you ability to simulate changes within the system. You can go all the way up to modeling rate changes and how a regulatory rule that maybe is based on customer minutes interrupted is going to impact your company financially because you can see the outage and the network data in one environment. Um, all of this provides a, uh, a basis. We think we've got a way to reduce the ongoing operational cost and also optimize your capital investment. And those are the two big financial paybacks to our customers with the Network Digital Twin.